straight ahead on CTV News tonight. A historic civil rights organization says it backs marriage equality just weeks after President Obama announces his recent support. To many clergy who feel differently, different sides, different theologies, different doctrines, all are very clear that if this is a difference, it is a difference, not a division. The NAACP supports marriage equality. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Rochelle Metzger. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us this evening. Well, one of the oldest civil rights organizations in the U.S. announces its support for marriage equality. This morning, the NAACP released a resolution stating its support of same-sex marriage, saying it will oppose any effort to codify discrimination into law. We have always stood against laws which demean, dehumanize, or discriminate against any person in this great country. That is our legacy. For over 103 years, we have stood against such laws, and while the nature of the struggle may change, our bedrock commitment to equality of all people under the law, never will. The intention was to get out ahead of what seemed to be a tidal wave of attempts to um, encode discrimination in state constitutions across the country. We felt it was time uh, for us to speak up and to be clear, as I said in my statement, uh, about what we're for in the country, which is marriage equality and equality for all under the 14th Amendment, and to stop handling it on a state-by-state -state basis. The NAACP resolution comes on the heels of President Obama's recent support of marriage equality. The move is expected to create a backlash from African-American religious organizations, many of which strongly oppose gay marriage. Meantime, a petition drive is underway to put Maryland's recently passed same-sex marriage law on a referendum in the November election. If Governor Martin O'Malley has his way, lawmakers will be back in Annapolis for a second special session in August, this time to decide whether to expand gaming in the state. Delegate James Proctor from District 27A spoke to CTV today about his thoughts on the... Happy about the second session in August. Okay, let's let it go at that. Why okay. is that? I said, let's let it go at that. I'm not, I'm not a, a, a real supporter of um, slots and the gambling, okay? Um, I'm not saying that I don't gamble or I don't participate, but um, I just would not like to see it here in Prince George's County. County Executive Rashern Baker has been pushing legislators to approve a sixth casino at National Harbor. He wants the issue to go to referendum in November. A Prince George's officer found himself on the wrong side of the law over the weekend. 38-year-old Daniel Gonzalez was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol, this after crashing his police cruiser. It happened just after 5 a.m. on Saturday at the intersection of Route 1 and Tanglewood Drive in Bladensburg. Officer Gonzalez was given a breathalyzer, which came back at a level of 0 .13. 0 .08 is considered legally drunk. Gonzalez, who has been on the force for six years, was recognized in February for helping rescue residents from an assisted living facility in College Park. Well, Maryland will soon become the first state to ban arsenic in chicken feed. Governor O'Malley is expected to sign a bill this week that will ban the use of roxarson, a chemical used to help birds grow and fight parasites. Pfizer, which distributes the chemical, stopped selling it in July. Arsenic is a known carcinogen. The law would take effect January 1st, 2013. And you are watching CTV News. I'm Patricia Ballone. And I'm Rochelle Metzger.